Hey guys, it's your girl Janelle coming back at you with another video. So this video is going to be my two week update about my lower navel piercing or my inverse piercing. And like I said, it's been two weeks and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It's still red unfortunately, which sucks ass. But anyway, if you want to see how it's doing or hear, or hear about how it's doing. Okay, like I said, it's the two weeks since I've had my low, since I pierced my own lower navel and it's doing well. I'm still, you know, still cleaning it twice a day. I'm not really doing sea soaks as much as I should like I'm doing it like once a day instead of twice but you're supposed to be doing it at least up to twice a day no more than that because you're, you're gonna dry out the piercing also cleaning it with antibacterial soap which obviously dries the shit out of your skin because if you have piercings you know that antibacterial soap and um, sea salt soaks dries the shit out of your skin but anyway I will show you guys okay quick nipple. disclaimer obviously if you don't like plus size girls or whatever or girls wearing crop tops that are, are not a size zero showing off their stomachs then you might want to stop watching this video because as I said in the last two videos that um, I have like some stretch marks that you can see and my stomach isn't exactly the flattest thing in the world but anyway I will show As you I said here stomach. is my stomach like you can see you can see it from far away like there's my lower piercing but if I come up a little bit closer you can see that it's still red and still obviously it's still crooked which isn't too bad which I honestly don't really care that it's crooked like as I said in the last video I'm not a professional so if like I stand up like like there's my navel like you can see them both like the top one's purple and the bottom is silver that's your like that's your standard <laughs> that's your standard one that you get pierced with and I just decided to keep that jewelry in for the time being because I don't really want to touch it too much because it it looks like it's irritated but it's not like I've been taking care of it and everything it's just I hope the skin like stops being red soon because like I'm doing what I'm supposed to. I'm not really touching it all that much. Like sometimes it does get snagged on um, my either shorts or pants that I'm wearing. But that's how that, my navel looks as of right now. As for like when I first did it, my stomach, like my lower navel, that area was really tender for about at least I would say maybe up to like eight hours, maybe up to. A day and a half but it wasn't it wasn't too bad for like when like I when I did it because the obviously the clamps or the clamps hurt way more than I mean than the actual uh, well the clamps hurt grabbing my skin and also the needle because I did it so slow but I think the clamps was the worst part of the piercing and I'm gonna come closer because my lighting's terrible but um like it wasn't too bad like I did it myself the when I was lining it up I thought it was completely like straight but it's kind of like like ever so slightly crooked it's not too bad I honestly could care less only because like I lack that shelf like as I said in my other two videos but it's healing nicely it is red I hope I hope that it will clear up soon because it's it's really cute like when I wear my swimsuit like you can see both and I even went out earlier in my crop top ah I went out I went out like this just to see hey I've never actually worn a crop top like this short out in public I got a few stairs but like <laughs> what can you do some people just don't like a bigger girl wearing crop tops because they feel like it's not right but like I like I said I really ah, come closer again like, I really don't care what people think I just wanted to test like my comfort zone and, and people were they, they weren't looking at my stomach necessarily but they're looking at my navel piercings and like Hmm. Like, I'm like what? You've never seen a bigger person with um, two belly button rings? Like, who cares? But like, I'm like I said, I'm cleaning it every day. I'm still taking care of it. No, like I actually was stupid about it, but I actually did swim twice with with my um, my lower navel, and I washed it immediately after. Like I even did, you know, I did sea salt soaks for like maybe ten minutes after. So it was like my skin was like really dry, so I decided to take like a like a, um, a Q-tip and like let, put some um, unscented uh, lotion in the middle of like in the middle of my skin, like right here. Like I put it, I'll put it like right here, only because like it's like it's really really dry from all of like the um, the antibacterial soap and the sea salt soaks. Like it, so it's really really dry. But it's actually, it, like I said, it's doing really well. I'm hoping the redness will go down eventually. 
and like it really does suck when it gets like stuck on something or when my or even in my sleep when my covers were like hey I'm gonna gently pull on it and it hurts like a bitch but overall when I did the piercing everything was sterile and the pain I would say the pain for when I did my um little navel pain wise like my top was like a one because I didn't hurt at all like I know people say it'll hurt like a bitch but this one I would probably say it was like a little bit more of like a four for me maybe five just because I took so long and like I said I'm not a professional so it took me longer to do it but like once it was in it was through and the, the jewelry like for me whenever I got whatever I got like my nose pierced or like my lobes pierced or my tragus or or even piercing my nipples it was always the worst part for me was getting the damn jewelry in because it hurt the most and it, I mean it varies from person to person but like after removing that needle and getting a jewelry in it's always the worst part because it hurts the worst in my opinion but anyway like I said like again my navel come up a little bit closer like it's still red and I need to stop touching it Make sure you, if you get your navel done, don't touch it frequently. You're supposed to leave it alone. But I know it's for this video, I'm what for these past two videos, I've been like, hey, look, let me touch it. But like, in reality, you're not supposed to touch it. But anyway, like that is my lower navel, and it's my two-week update. So here it is again, and here it is together. Top one's purple, bottom one. I'll move the camera quick. As you can see, the top one's purple. The bottom one is silver and yeah those are my navel piercings but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be doing more videos and i usually do videos every wednesday wednesdays and sundays and if you want to join like the little community family out here don't forget to subscribe to my channel like i said and i will see you guys next time bye